Hey everyone, it's Andrew Brown and welcome to another follow along and probably the most important one, which is how to create your Azure account. So what I did is I typed into Google uh, Azure uh, Microsoft portal and so it brought me to here. Um, this page might look a little bit different. It really just depends on where you uh, uh, land in, but a lot of times they make it very easy by having this try Azure for free, getting started, free account. So just find one of the ways in. They probably go all to the same place. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start free. I'm gonna get out of the way uh, so that we can do this. Now, um, I already have an existing uh, Microsoft account. That's what you need in order to access Azure. So I'm gonna go here and say sign in with another account. I'm gonna create another account. I go ahead and create one. Of course, you probably already have an account or if you don't, you can go ahead and start typing one in. So I'm gonna need an alternate email to utilize for this. So just give me a moment, okay? So I was just thinking about it. I actually already have another email called Andrew at teacherseat.com. It's the name of our platform that runs Exam Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this and see if that works. You can't sign in here with a work or school email address. Use a personal email such as a Gmail. <laughs> okay, so it's not letting me uh, uh, do that there, but maybe we can get ourselves a new email address and that will be one way in here. Now, of course, you don't need to create an Outlook or Hotmail. You can, of course, uh, use something else, but I'm just going to create a new account to make my life a little bit easier uh, while demonstrating this. So I'm gonna type in exam pro Andrew Brown, and hopefully it will allow me to have that hyphen there. And so I need to choose a password. So just give me a moment. Also, if you're looking for a password manager or sorry, a password generator, I tend to like this one called uh, passwordgenerator.net because it works really well. Um, so that's the one that I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna take this off screen here for a moment and just put a password in, okay? So I've just generated out a password and hopefully it will let me go ahead and create that. So we're in good shape. And so I'll fill in the next information here. So I don't wanna expose all my personal information. So I'm just going to fill this in and hit next. So you'll see me jump to the next screen, okay? And so it is progressing and we're just waiting for uh, new things to happen here. And so now I have a little puzzle to solve. So just give me a moment. I just wanna save the password <laughs> before I lose it. Okay, I just saved my password off screen here. Uh, let's go ahead and solve this. So please solve the puzzle so we know you're not a robot. Uh, how do I solve it? Do I need to put my headphones on? Just give me a moment here and take a look. So let's go ahead and hit next. So use the arrows to rotate the animal to face the direction of the hands. Um, well, it's already uh, facing it. So I guess we're in good shape. That was not quite right. Oh, maybe the direction of where the hand is pointing. Okay, we'll try that again. So there we go. And we'll try that again. The very interesting um, uh, challenge. That's the first time I've ever seen that one, but uh, that's interesting. And we'll give it a moment here. And so now we can fill in all of our information. So uh, of course, again, I don't want to expose all of my information here. So uh, go ahead and fill this in. And uh, what we'll need to do is verify our phone number. So we'll fill in all this stuff um, and then we'll choose to use a different phone number and all this stuff. And I'll see you back here in a moment. Of course, if you already have an email, you wouldn't have to go through all of this process here, but I'll be back in just a moment. Okay. All right. So the next screen that I'm being prompted with is to, uh, add a, a credit card. They say identity verification by card. Um, of course this is, a, is so that when you want to pay, uh, and go to the pay tier you can. I believe that Azure uh, provides you a sandbox, so you'll be okay, but you'll have limited control within Azure. Um, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I will fill all this information. Of course, I'm not going to show you all of this information, um, but I'll see you back here in just a moment, okay? Okay, that's all filled in. And so it looks like um, it's still setting up our account up here. Uh, it's asking for some feedback. Um, I don't really have any feedback for the signup process. I'm just gonna wait here till setting up your account is complete. So I'll see you back here in just a moment, okay? Oh, it looks like it's already done. So the account is created. I assume that we can just go ahead and log in. So let's go ahead and sign in here. And we will choose this new account. Now, the cool thing about um, Azure is that normally when you're logged in, you stay logged in. So um, uh, it's usually pretty, <laughs> pretty convenient. I don't feel like I'm always logging into my account, but we are in here. And so that's all we had to do to get into our new uh, Azure account. So there you go.